Compendiums are just books that Roll20 has indexed and categorized to a specific game's rule system. Think of it like your book has been made into a miniature wiki for easy access. Because of this large undertaking, not all game systems are set up as compendiums on Roll20, but a lot are, including Dungeons & Dragons, Call of Cthulhu, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, and Blades in the Dark, to name a few. In this video, we'll go over how to purchase one of these compendium books, how to add or disable them in your game, or how to just share them with your players. Check the description for timestamps and skip to the section you're most interested in. If you're not in a game and you just want to browse our free compendiums or your new purchase, go to the menu bar at the top, hover over Tools, and click Compendium. Browse around within the different game systems to see what Roll20 has to offer. If you're thinking about starting a Dungeons & Dragons game, click it. Here's a list of all the available compendiums Roll20 supports for Dungeons & Dragons. If I don't already own one of these books, it will take me directly to a page where I can purchase it. Once I purchased it, it will become active in this section and automatically load its information for me whenever I start a new Dungeons & Dragons game. Let's see what that looks like. Let's get ourselves a copy of the Player's Handbook by clicking the pink Buy Now button. Great! Now that we have our book, let's create a new game and check it out. Go to the menu at the top, hover over Games, and click Create New Game. Name it whatever you want. I'll call this one New D&D Game. Now because the Player's Handbook does not include an adventure, it will not show up on the right side under Modules. Instead, Roll20 only needs to know that you're playing Dungeons & Dragons to connect the Player's Handbook to this game. To do that, click the Character Sheet drop-down on the left-hand side and select D&D 5e by Roll20. This sheet connects your game to the Dungeons & Dragons compendium with all your books included. Now we just click the blue I'm ready to create game button and we're all set. Now because we chose D&D 5e as our character sheet, our D&D 5e Player's Handbook will automatically be added to our game. It's important to note that when you create a new game using a certain game system, it will add all the books you own from that particular compendium to your new game. But let's say you only want one particular compendium book to be loaded into your game, and you want to share that one book as well. To do that, click the Settings drop-down box with the cogwheel and select Game Settings. Scroll down to the middle of the page and click Compendium Settings. From here, we can control how our compendiums will work in-game. First up, you have the option to change the compendium system your game is using. Remember that list from the beginning? All those game systems were listed here. So if you selected the wrong one, you can change them here. This one is set up to D&D 5e, because that's the character sheet we chose when we first created the game. But if we chose the wrong system, we can change that here. Next, you have the option of sharing your compendium with your players. You can simply click yes or no. You will also see below your available compendium sharing slots. Based on your subscription level, you can share your purchase compendiums with players in-game. If you have a free account, you can have one game with five players sharing. If you have a plus account, you can have three games with 10 players sharing. And if you have a Roll20 Pro account, you can share compendiums in up to five different games and each game can have up to 15 people with access to the compendium. Any of these options are great for groups who want to split the cost of books and share it amongst themselves. If you need to free up a slot, click the X next to one of your listed games and remove their compendium access. The last part of the compendium settings is the compendium selection. Here you will see all the available compendiums for your game system. There are three different color states that your compendium might be in. White, green, or red. Compendiums in white are the ones that you do not own. but if one of your players do, it's accessible in-game. Compendiums in green are the ones that you own and are available in-game. If you have sharing on, they will also be available to your players in-game as well. Now red will not be available in your game. For example, if you don't want any of the classes or subclasses from Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide available to your players in-game, simply click the Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide and it will turn red making all of its contents unavailable to you and your players in-game, even if they own the book themselves. Now, once you're done changing the compendium settings, don't forget to scroll down and click the blue Save Compendium Settings button. You'll see green text appear above the button saying your settings were successfully saved. 
To see what our compendium looks like in-game, check out our How to Use Your New Purchase on Roll20 video in the description below. But for now, enjoy using and sharing your new Roll20 compendium.